Welcome to this video on how to use RefWorks. In this video, we're going to go through how to get RefWorks set up and ready to start importing references into it. If you haven't already, you can create an account for free by going to create account at the bottom of the page and then signing up with your Royal Holloway email address. Once you've done that, you can then log into RefWorks. Once you've signed in, you'll be taken to this page. What we're going to do now is go through the steps that you need to take to get RefWorks set up and ready to start importing references. The first thing that we recommend you do is go to the options at the top right of the page. You'll notice where it says Normal View, there's a drop down arrow that if you click on it, a new menu will display and then you'll need to click on the cog icon next to Citation View. Doing that will load up a box which shows you which referencing style you're currently using. At the moment it's set to Harvard, but you're able to change it to which referencing style you need to use in your assignment. To change it, simply click on the option that's currently there, and then in the drop down menu, you can then search for which referencing style you want to use. So for example, if you use APA, you can simply search for it and then select the version that you need to use. Once you've done that, you can then click save and return to the main screen. Your next step now is to create a folder that you can save your references in. To do this, simply go to my folders in the menu options on the left hand side and then click the add folder option that appears. Clicking on that will load up a new box where you can give a name for your new folder. We recommend that you give it a name that relates to the assignment or research that you're doing so it's easy to identify what the references relate to. In this example, we're going to call it Dinosaurs Essay. Once you've done that, simply click Save, and that folder will now appear in the drop down menu on the left hand side. Now that you've created your folder, you do have a few more options that you can access by clicking on the three dots next to the folder name. Clicking on there, you can add subfolders. So if you have a lot of different references for your assignment, you can subdivide them further. You can rename it if you want to, or you can delete it off RefWorks as well. Your next step is to add a bookmarking tool into your web browser so you can save different resources into RefWorks. To do this, go to the Tools option in the menu bar across the top, and then in the drop down menu that appears, click on Tools again. Doing that will take you to this page where you can install a number of useful tools to help you when using RefWorks. The one that we're going to install now is the Save References on the Web tool. To do this, simply click on Install Save to RefWorks, and then from the pop-up box that appears, click on Save to RefWorks and hold, and then drag it up to your taskbar at the top. Doing that will now have installed the bookmarking tool so that you can now bookmark different resources and save them into RefWorks. If your bookmarking bar isn't visible on your web browser, then we recommend you go to the three dots at the top right of the page. In the option menus, go to bookmarks and make sure there's a tick next to the show bookmarks bar. Just be aware that we're using Google Chrome for this video so this may display slightly differently depending on which web browser you are using. Once you've done that, you can then click on All References in the menu option at the top left, and it will return you to the landing page that you started from. At this point now, you're now ready to start adding references into RefWorks.